This week I want to share with you a slightly advanced counter surveillance technique. Hi, Larry Kay here with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, Premium Private Investigator Training, from someone who's been there and done that. And of course, uh, that includes the Investigator's Ultimate Guide to Surveillance where I teach all sorts of techniques for how to follow somebody and different tricks and things that you can use so that they don't know you're behind them and they, they don't know that you're you're following them. Now the, the counter surveillance technique I have today for you is just a little bit advanced. Of course the baseline thing, the basic thing that you do if you're, if you're concerned about being followed is to just kind of watch behind you. Keep an eye in the rear view mirror, look to see if any vehicle is following you turn for turn. Now that's a very basic common you should do that if you think you're being followed or you're looking for a tail but there's two scenarios in particular that's not going to work for you. One is for the more high level uh, professional surveillance where they're using a team of vehicles you know because they're going to be using different techniques you know the ABC technique and, and other things so that the same vehicle is not behind you and you can see a vehicle that makes one or two turns with you and you say, okay, I better keep, and then he turns off, and you go, oh, okay, I thought he was following me, but he's not. But at the same time, another vehicle has picked up the eyeball and is following you. So by just watching the vehicle behind you or several vehicles behind you and seeing who follows you turn for turn is going to fail you when it comes to that first scenario of a professional uh, team surveillance. The other time it's going to fail you is for anybody that's well been professionally trained even though they're working individually and people who have gotten the investigators ultimate guide to surveillance because uh, I teach in there how to follow somebody without following them every turn for turn how to do some maneuvers that will throw them off the scent or to look like you're going one place but then you're able to fall back in behind them so if they're looking and they say well that vehicle has been behind me for a couple well no never mind he went off you know into that gas station for example uh, but then, you know, if you're doing surveillance and you let a couple blocker vehicles get between you and the vehicle you're following and you zip right back out onto the road, uh, you're still following them. Now, if you're doing counter surveillance and you've dismissed that vehicle back there, the vehicle I've trained, you're, you're just not going to catch them because of looking for someone following you. So here's where this slightly advanced technique comes into play for you. And it's looking for vehicles that show up again and again whether or not you really see them following you so for example if you see a car behind you a vehicle behind you and you think oh it might be following me this you know and it's a dark blue Toyota you know but then again when you get to your destination oh wait there's that dark blue, blue Toyota again or there's that black SUV or whatever vehicle it is you start to see it over and over again you're looking for the same vehicle over and over again. That's the, now the slightly advanced thing I want to teach you here, the little trick that will really help you out because let's face it, there's millions of dark blue Toyotas and you'll drive yourself crazy if every time you see one you think it's the same one and it's following you. So the, the little key here is try to snag a portion of the license plate and I like to grab the last two digits of the license plate. Um, so if you see, okay, there's a dark blue Toyota behind me and the last two digits of the plate are 5-4. Well, okay, later in the day, you're at the gas station and you see a vehicle park across the street, somebody sitting in it, dark blue Toyota, and it, the last two digits of the license plate are 5-4. That is way more suspicious. And then again, of course, if they show up again somewhere, if you see them in your neighborhood, the odds, I, I, it's not foolproof. But the odds are very slim, you know, really, those last two digits matching another vehicle you randomly look at, it's, there's just a 1% chance it's going to match, right? So now you throw in the fact that you know the make or the model or the color and, and the make really narrows down. And again, this is not foolproof. It does not mean the person's following you, but that's a vehicle you should give priority to when you're doing counter surveillance. Okay, I've, I believe I've seen the same vehicle two or three times now. I'm, you keep an eye open for that or look for that. That will help you immensely because most surveillances, especially done by private investigators, are done by one investigator who generally uses the same vehicle all day. Uh, there's a chance that he or she may come back on a different day in a different vehicle, but really it's that same vehicle being used over and over again. And while 
with a trained person, you won't see them behind you all the time. You might be able to see that car show up over and over again. So again, kind of get make, model, color, and last two digits of that license plate and see if you start to see those vehicles over and over again. There's my tip for you. A lot of people don't do this. They think just looking behind them is enough and, and it's not for when you're being followed by somebody who really knows what they're doing. This is Larry K with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.